amazing place. Got to be a bit quiet because everyone's asleep at the minute. I'm the first one up. So I've come to Yorkshire. Well, I live in Yorkshire. This part of Yorkshire just to test out my sun visor. Let's see how it holds up. So obviously my last long trip was in Scotland and driving up there I noticed that light bar makes a terrible racket especially when it's windy so obviously when you've got the airstream flowing over the van it's obviously catching in that and it's just making a horrible drumming noise now as you can see I've just fitted a sun visor I'm hoping that's going to break up that airstream and quieting down the noise that Airstream makes on that light bar. I'll go through the process how I fitted it and let's see if it works as well. We'll go for a bit of a drive. Right, so in the kit you get two mounting brackets like this and the foam underlayer. Now that's to stop the water from penetrating. And there you go, you've got five screw holes there. So I've looked at the instructions and it's showing this mounting bracket must be fitted onto this pillar here. Now it's showing, you can see there's a seam there from the roof to the pillar. Right, it's showing that this is sat just below that seam there. Now obviously because I've got the light bar, which is just there, I may have to play around the height settings of this sunshade. So we'll see where we'll go from there. What I think I might do first is actually bolt these onto the sunshade and uh, see how it sits up against you can see it, there's sunlight shining the lens, that light bar. Make sure it's putting up against it because ideally I want the wind to go over it. I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna work, but we'll find out. Each end of the sunshade are mounting brackets. You can just see that one there. It's got long square holes in it, so you've got some adjustment on it. And the mounting brackets that you want to fit onto the pillar obviously slide through there now it's only two nuts uh, fixing it into position so I'll just loosely fit these onto this bracket and try a dry run first and see how high this actually mounts onto the windscreen especially in that position that I just alluded to earlier on so let's get these nuts on loosely The washer, like a repair washer first, then a spring washer. Get hold of it. Then I'll see the nut. I'm just going to put these on finger tight. There you go. And like I said, you've got a bit of adjustment there. What, about half an inch, quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put this up against. The van pillars and see whereabouts this sits. So I have just put my foam sticky pad onto the mountain bracket there. Just be careful which way round it goes because that hole there is off centre. So make sure you line up that hole first, and obviously line up the others at the same time and stick it onto the foot of the bracket. Now I can go up. This is against up against the pillar of the van without scratching the paintwork. Right, because I'm on my own, I'm gonna use some clamps, clamp these onto the pillar and rest the shade on top of the clamps. So 
So with the sun visor in a rough position, I can now mark out those mounting points on the pillar. So there you go. I've just fitted this bracket onto the pillar by using the middle screw. Now notice these bolts on this bracket are offset, so there's more of metal here than there is on the other side. So I want to try and get those bolts closer in towards the window. Now I have marked out these holes here and I'll be drilling those out. And when it comes to fitting, I shall be applying some non-drying bedding sealant on the screw thread threads, then screwing this plate back into position. I shall do the same on the other side as well. Last screw. Like I said before, there's five screws holding this bracket into position. Using a suitable drill bit, drilling the five holes and these just screw straight in. There you go. Now I'll just clean off all that excessive um, drying body bedding sealant and I'll do the other side and then we can mount the sunshade back onto the windscreen. I do have my brackets in position now. Both screwed down this position. Here comes the fun part. I think this is ideally done with two people. Alright. I do have a clamp on the other side so I'm hoping that's going to catch it. Which it has. Some large washer. Just give me a spring washer. Spring washer. And nut on, on each of these mounting bolts. And it's just a case of tying each one down with a spanner. So there's four of these to do. And that should clamp that to the pillar. Right, because it's quite tight to get over on the, onto these mounting points here, these bolts and the holes are quite far across that way. What I'm doing is trying to clamp it on this clamp and trying to draw the whole lot this way so then it will go through them holes on the shared bracket itself. Yes! Ooh. Get this bloody thing out. Of them. These nuts here have cap heads that need placing over them just to protect them from the elements. There you go, let's put them both on. So, on the sun visor, there's eight mounting bolts that hold the plastic sheet onto the framework. On the underside, there's one cap you want to be fitting. And on the top side, there's another cap which goes straight on over the top and knock it to position. Now, I will be gluing these into position as well so they don't blow off in the wind. That's tight. Now, Spunky did say to me that this middle bit does flex quite a bit. And mine, it feels quite solid. So, it may be the case I might have to add another mounting point in the middle but we'll take it for a test run and see how it goes and see what that wind noise is like from the light bar. This is, this is a bit where it gets a bit hairy. Yeah.
it has winding down quite a bit, but not totally 100%. So it's done half a job, so and that's done, just alluded to then. It helps with her eyes. She just she does. Takes, yeah, you know, like right in the sun, like this.